this morning, a major announcement from one of Detroit's big three. Yes, Fiat Chrysler is shutting down its Connor assembly plant that used to build the Viper. Right. Let's get over to Nick Monticelli. He joins us live outside of the plant on Detroit's east side. And Nick, this does impact some auto workers, but it looks like they're going to still have jobs. That's the great news in all of this. There are 87 workers here at the Viper plant on the northeast side of Detroit. In fact, I'll get out of way, out of the way. Mike can zoom in to show you the front door there. And as of right now, Chrysler says they think they'll be able to put them all in different jobs throughout the company. Inside the Connor Street assembly plant, there is a lot of pride. The Dodge Viper has been one of Chrysler's toys for years. And inside, employees put together the Viper by hand. The Viper, though, was discontinued during the recession in 2010. It was resurrected three years later, but sales have been declining. In fact, they only sold about 670 of them in 2015. So Chrysler announced it would be discontinuing the sports car for good, which meant this assembly plant would eventually be shut down, too. We didn't know when, though, until today. In a notice sent out, Chrysler says the plant will be shutting down August 31st, and it is a permanent closure. 87 employees work here, but Chrysler says they anticipate offering jobs elsewhere in the company. So, you know, this is the end of an era, and many people will be upset that the Viper is going away again. Not a surprise, though. I think what you have to realize here is that while this was a fun, fast sports car for Chrysler, it didn't appeal to a whole lot of people, certainly didn't appeal to the mass crowds. We are live here at the Connor Assembly Plant, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News today. Uh, so, Nick, you said this did not come as a surprise. Have you talked to any workers this morning, and how may they be reacting? You know, uh, as you would expect, they knew this was eventually going to happen because last year Chrysler announced they were discontinuing the Viper. They just didn't know exactly when it was going to happen, so it was kind of like the axe half fell. They, they knew it was going to happen. They were just, you know, kind of waiting. That's not a huge surprise for them, I guess you could say. Well, and thankfully they will still have jobs in, in other plans. So that's the good news there, as you said. Nick, thank you.